All right, let's take a look at question 22. In question 22, we have been assessed on how to find the maximum and minimum of quadratic functions, okay? In question 22, we're going to be looking at finding the extrema of the function and the graph. Question 22 reads, consider the function f of x equals 4x squared plus 6x minus 3 and p of x defined by the graph below. We know that this is a quadratic because the graph is a parabola, okay? And all parabolas are quadratic functions. Question, the difference between the values of the maximum of p and the minimum of f is, so what we are looking for in this problem, we're basically trying to find uh, find the difference between um, the difference between uh, p ma uh, p max and the difference between the maximum of p and the minimum of f f min. Okay, so all we're just looking for is p max minus f min. All right, let's start by looking for f max, okay? Um, we want to find f maximum, no, f minimum. All right, because we asked the minimum of f. So to find f minimum, we need the following formula. Whenever you're given a quadratic in, uh, in its equation form, on an algebraic form, the formula for finding the minimum or the maximum, in this case the minimum, is going to be the function evaluated at negative b over 2a. Okay? All right, so let's call up the f of x function. f of x is 4x squared plus 6x minus 3. a is 4. a is 4. b is 6. And C is negative 3. We don't, we don't need C for this problem. We just need A and B, 4 and 6, okay? All right, so what is negative B over 2A? Negative B over 2A represents the x-coordinate of the vertex, okay? And when you plug that into the function, it tells you what the minimum is. Negative B over 2A is going to be negative 6 divided by 2 times 4. This becomes negative 6 over 8. Divide top and bottom by 2 and you have negative three-fourths. Okay, now to find what f min is, you're just going to evaluate the function at negative three over four. Okay, so what we're going to do is plug in uh, negative three over four into this function. So f of negative three over four is going to be four times negative three over four square plus 6 times negative 3 over 4 minus 3. All right, you can use order of operations to work this out, but since we have the luxury of using a calculator, let's go ahead and use a calculator to calculate what um, this is. So we have 4x raised to the second power, 4x squared plus 6x, six 6x six minus 3. Enter. So we're going to store uh, negative 3 over 4. Negative 3 over 4. Where are we going to store it? We're going to store it in x. Okay, so store that in x. And then let's call back the function that we just entered. Second function, enter. And then we get negative 5.25. Another way you can do this is by using your table function. You go to y, enter it into y, and then look for what the output is. Um, let me show you how to do that real quick. So if you have 4x squared plus 6x minus 3, enter. And then you go to the table setup. So this is the table setup right here on the top of window. So if you go to the table setup and you ask it, the calculator to ask you for the independent variable. All right. If you ask you for the, if you ask it to ask you, then you can specify what you want to find the output for. So we want to find the output for negative three divided by four. Enter negative five point two five. So that's just another way to do it. Or you can graph the function. Just graph it, 
and then you use the trace option okay so you hit trace right so for the, when you hit the trace button you can just enter negative 3 divided by 4 and hit enter and then it tells you what the output is negative 5.25 so those are three different ways that you can do it or the fourth way is you can just work this out using um, the order of operations whichever way you do it f of negative 3 over 4 which is f min is equal to negative 5.25 now we are asked to find p max one as f min. We don't know what p max is, so let's go ahead and find p max. P max is can be determined using this graph. So all we do is we are going to trace the x value axis to the. Um, this is the maximum right here, okay? So what's the output right here? That's what p max is. The y coordinate of the peak of the function this is the maximum right here that's uh, the maximum and this value which is 5 is your p max okay so p max is 5 is basically um, the y coordinate of the vertex so p max graphically is the y coordinate of the vertex uh, which is 5 so p max is 5 so the difference p between the maximum and uh, of p and the minimum of f is 5 p max minus uh, f min which is negative 5.25 signs are the same you just add so it's going to become a sum slash and dash and your answer will be 10.25 your answer to question number 22 is option number four okay so this is how you find the extrema of quadratics graphically or using your um, calculator